My name's Craig McClure. I'm an artist based here in Kirikiriroa, Hamilton. Influenced by comic books and animation, and I paint murals and do gallery installations. All right, could you uh, maybe give us a rundown of the Boone Street Art Festival and your involvement in it? So the festival started in uh, 2015 by uh, Paul Bradley and Charlotte Isaac, um, with a very simple mission of um, making the streets of Hamilton look more beautiful. Um, and I got involved as an artist in the beginning and painted my first mural and then just kind of got hooked in how amazing it was to design and paint murals but also just their impact as an art form which is kind of head and shoulders above anything else I'd done as far as um, accessibility for an audience um, and just the people I met through the, the culture of street art and murals were had a very different culpapa to a lot of other artists and groups that I'd worked with. And I just resonated with their their way of doing things much more than, than other parts of, of the art industry. Having street art in your communities is that it does make spaces safer. Um, generally, if you paint someone's wall that's in a dark area, there's it's really often that the landlord or the property owner will invest in lighting that area better. Um, but also attracts people. Uh, people in spaces make um, spaces safer. Also, there's a chance for us to make the people in community, the cultures in community, uh, using their stories and their history, that can that makes those people more visible. We really enjoy giving opportunities to non-muralists to paint murals. So some of my favorite artists we work with are have been ceramicists and tattooists. Um, you know, they're, they're all visual artists, technically, but, um, but not, not looking at painting murals. There's something quite magic there when someone applies their skill set that they're, say, experts in, in one field and adapt it to another field. There can be some really special things that happen there. So we, we, we try to foster that at least one to two murals every year as someone who's never painted a mural before. My name's Ali, Ali Solomon, and I'm a multimedia artist. I work from doing tattoos all the way to printing, making art, and my creative process would be just looking through um, things that interest me. You know, it doesn't even have to be it doesn't have to be just murals or like illustrations. So I can I can look at fabric or like let's say this carpet, you know, um, and that can like generate. Um, ideas to kind of do something else and also like folk, folk tales, so stories from different tradition um, that, that gets me going too. Things like st street art festivals like bring a lot to a town, to a city, just you know it opens public, public eye you know. Um, when I first started doing graffiti or even having a spray can in your hand like a lot of people would be like no, like, you know, he's about to do something naughty. You know, where now it's just like all this festival happens and it's, it's okay. It's like, I remember the first Boone Street art, we weren't allowed to use spray paint. You know, the connotations of having a, a spray can, you know, straightly people assume it's graffiti. So, but now it's like a lot of people just use spray cans because that's the medium of choice. Um, yeah, and I, th I think it opens up, yeah. yeah people's public's eye. And there's a quote from an old graffiti artist that says, if, if a city has no graffiti in it, it's pretty much got no culture. Yeah, so I'm Kieran Horner, I'm from Hamilton, and I tattoo here at Holiday Tattoo, doing black and grey traditional, and also doing some street art. So there's probably two murals that I quite enjoyed doing. One was with Boone where I got to work alongside heaps of other artists all on one wall, which was pretty you know, entertaining. Cool. Sort of bounce off each other. And then another one was when me and Ellie got to do a collab one, which was real cool. 
I really like the um, tiger I did for Boone. I really like that one just because of the color layout and um, and it's different to what I've done previously with the underwater collective kind of style. So this is kind of like my own thing that I refined. But it's also the layout of it is kind of like folklore kind of style, you know, like images bombard together. So initially the the reason that the rabbit has a, a pipe in it is because the the tiger is kind of the superior animal that the um, rabbit would be like, hey, have have a token my pipe, so that the tiger wouldn't eat the rabbit. You know? Yeah, so it's kind of a little funny, and I find that interesting. Like, it's so far fetched to kind of like you know you never see a rabbit with a pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Sick, brother. That's really cool. Mm. Painting for painting a mural like. A lot of the time, like Craig would just let me do what, whatever I want. So this the design process is like pretty much what I want to do, which is kind of nice. Yeah, and only since we've only done a few murals, I haven't really locked in, you know, the perfect technique for each type of texture, I guess. Or if you have like a pipe coming down or like different pillars that you need to work around. So those are the challenging things for me. Thankfully, Craig. Craig is the, the middle guy um, for me that would assure the, the business owners they're like, yeah, no, Ali will do something good for it and not offensive, obviously. Um, so the legal aspects for me are really just down to, um, I guess, public liability and health and safety things that, that are just by and by with anybody working in, you know, outside. When it comes to the intellectual property of the artist, by default, the, they own the design. I think for the new newcomers, for as creative people, I think just keep doing it. Like, um, you, you can't be expected to be like the man straight away. You know, you just you just gotta keep, keep doing something and be around other artists or other people that are somewhat involved with it or surround yourself around people that um that are doing the same thing um network is the most important um to get to get your name out and and if you just keep on doing it you no doubt will get you'll get recognized you know you just, um... if you are eager to be painting murals and that's what you want to be doing then um i mean asking to be involved as um, stressful or embarrassing as that can feel, is um, that's, that's the best way to do it, is just to reach out. Um, for the Street Art Festival specifically, we use volunteers every year. So you might not get to be painting a wall with an artist, but um, volunteering just means you get to network and connect with all the people that organise it. Artists that we bring from all over the world to paint in the festival, you get to connect with them. And you just get to you know, see, see what happens, you just get to learn. If you want to do it, you've just got to learn and you've just got to be around it and that's a really good way to kind of jump in the deep end and see, see what's going on. So volunteer for um, the Street Art Festival. You can do that by going on to the Boon Arts website, so boonarts.co.nz. There's an easy way to find out how to volunteer for us there. Just take the plunge. I mean, if you really love it and you're really into it, yeah, just do it. I mean, I always say that this, if you're into something, there's always a fire in you that burns a certain amount of time before it gets burnt out, you know. So for me it was like a good five years after I left my job at the museum and good five, six, seven years maybe and it's, it just keeps burning and I was still into it. It just, we just love to do it. I mean we love working with the people, we love working with the artists. And... It'd be nice to actually kind of go back to something small again and something that's a bit more passive and not 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 really it doesn't have to always be bold and big all the time what i've always wanted for hamilton as a side project i think they're doing it now but as a side project of art festival would be more public sculptures i would love to see a lot more public sculptures up i mean it's nice to have murals everywhere and color popping but it'll be nice to have like some um something 3d that people can walk around or i don't know something interactive yeah. But to be honest, at this stage, I'm kind of just reacting to what people's needs are. You know, the festival was kind of going around suburbs now, so we're going to Hamilton East this year. We've been to Frankton in the past, Dinsdale last year. It's kind of spreading out um, that way as the kind of plan for the time being. And 
uh, I'm just thinking about all the amazing people that we can bring to Hamilton and work with and get to spend that, that couple of weeks in summer, you know, in the festival vibe. That's enough for me.